A very nice Starcraft Antigua just came in here at Haley La Vie of Coldwater, Michigan. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. Killed my throat doing that. <coughs> anyway. <laughs> this is a uh, very nice 19 foot hybrid by Starcraft here. Nice little tandem axle too, so it's going to track easily behind the vehicle. Weighs just a titch over 3,400 pounds, so uh, comfortably uh, SUV towable. Obviously, I'd prefer you being a mid-sized tow package SUV. If you've got uh, like a Ford Edge, which is basically a minivan with a 3,500 pound capacity, you should not be looking at this camper. Um, the by the way if you have that vehicle you should be looking at a 16 xrb j feather it's it's perfect for you anyway uh very clean it's got a couple little hiccups i'm going to cover those as we go but it this thing's 95 percent awesome uh it's in it's in very very well kept condition and the couple little hiccups i mentioned they're not from user failure it's not from like lack of maintenance it's a uh, a couple structural items that they're present. I don't think they're the end of the world, but I'll let you decide that. My job's simply to educate you so you can make an educated decision based off your money, you know. Um, maximum size patio awning is Sharpie. This has, uh, I don't know, what is that? About a 14 foot awning, which is great to give you plenty of space here. Um, and you've got a little outside grill station right here. I like that your outside speakers are down low. This is this is well thought out and executed. It's just, it's got a, uh, the, the biggest thing I, when I say hiccups I want to mention is it has a laminated floor. And you can see that it's not like it's falling apart. That's one of the ways they kept the weight down. But they put the cross members and the floor a little too far apart. So once you get past this point, and obviously I'm walking all over it, it's not like it's, it's, it's scary or anything, but you can feel a little sponge on the floor right there, or maybe some of the interior bead foam that's packed into that laminated floor had broken down. Not the end of the world. It's, I, man, man have I seen far, far worse. Um, but uh, again, not the end of the world, not terrible. Um, the, uh, I like the very bright, uh, white cabinetry in here. It has that very, especially with the nice little decor, very palm feeling tropical uh, sort of uh, vibe going on in here. It also makes this little camper feel not so little. The other thing that helps with that is they use a lot of mirrors. They also used big honking windows here to give you lots of light and that really makes a big deal. This is actually fully laminated and again it's in it's in pretty solid shape. I can't see anything that really scares me this is the the flooring i mentioned is an item of no but again i'm i'm a 180 pound guy walking around out here I, I don't see that being a big darn deal um there are a lot of little 17 foot hybrids out there what a 19 foot hybrid gives you that the 17 foot doesn't is not extra sleeping but it's storage the 17 foot hybrids to get them down that short they basically just have to remove all of the cabinets you don't have that problem here this can fold down into a sleeper. That can fold down into a sleeper. I will say you can comfortably have four people in here. Possible you could get a couple more. Um, the stereo will be up here. Um, again, pretty clean, pretty simple. The canvas materials, your bed tent ends are in really good shape up here. That is nice and that is very impressive. I don't see anything on this that really scares me there. Um, you know, they didn't put it away wet. If they did, it would be spotted and moldy, and you don't see any of that here. The, even the, the beds are in pretty solid shape. Now, they had a couple stickers on the door that indicate to me that they were dog owners, and they were pet lovers, and as a dog lover myself, I, uh, I, I could appreciate that, but I know that not everybody enjoys having someone else's pets in their RV. I don't really detect odors of dogs or anything like that, but, strange as this sounds, about six years ago, I actually started losing my sense of smell, and my sense of smell is very diminished today. So that is one of those things that I'm actually not really good at being a good, reliable resource for you to, to pick up on that information. So do not hesitate. I mean, if like some people are like severely asthmatic, that's why I'm mentioning this. <laughs> I don't want you going camping and having an asthma attack in your camper. Um, you can see they use the stove a little bit, but they actually cleaned 
cleaned the stove. Like you could see they had picked the uh, the little um, grate up here and cleaned under it. I mean, they did a very nice job of keeping this thing in very good shape. Little TV hutch right here or just a nice little open area if you need extra counter space. Couple nice drawers. Hybrids usually don't have good drawers. This is, again, very well executed. It's just got that little structural flaw that I mentioned. Now, one thing I noticed immediately when I walked in is I looked up here and I saw that little wavy spot and I went, oh crap, they had a leak. And knowing that this is a laminated roof, I started pounding on it. And I realized, holy cow, this is still totally structural. It's not a leak. See, what it is is they've got a power vent fan here, and this is a shower. And uh, hybrids are a little more susceptible to humidity than other RVs because you don't have necessarily hard-sided walls here. Well, what they it looks like they did is they had their power vent fan running quite a bit, and that pulled a lot of humid, moist air through here. So this is kind of like if you steamed a stamp off an envelope. That's that's what we're looking at here because again, it's it's totally solid. There's absolutely nothing not solid about it. It's basically like a contact skin wallpaper that came loose. That's what we're looking at there. Uh, pretty solid bathroom for a little hybrid too. And I, I do like that big skylight in that shower letting in lots of extra light there. So overall, she gets my seal of approval. Um, again, understanding what it is for the money. And that's the thing here is we've looked at this we looked at uh, what they're going for in terms of general market value, and we have discounted this one appropriately given its condition so that we have a fair price tag on this thing. So give us a call, 800-256-5196, Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone. Go have a good time.